Raffle, the one, the only, Mr. Yes. Fadi. Hey, it's like hey. from class. Good to see you. I'm in Germany, you. in Kassel. Thank you. So, um, is it your first time in Germany? It's my second time. I went to Berlin in 2012, but uh, it's my first time here as an adult. And how did you get the role in class? Um, so, as any other actor, I auditioned. Um, and the director and the writers seem to really like me and they, they brought me back and here we are. <laughs> Do you have maybe some nice hit movie for me? Maybe some weird thing happened, some funny thing? On set? Um, yeah, there was, there was a lot of moments. The whole shoot was just like, just a lot of laughter. Um, there was quite a few moments where um, I remember we was filming and the fire alarm went off and then everyone from the The, the set had to leave, but luckily Doctor Who was filming as well. So they left the studio. We ended up in the fire queue with Peter Capaldi and Pearl Mackey, and we was just sort of all together and making friends during this fire alarm. So it was nice. That's great. Very cool. Yeah. <laughs> Did you meet them after the fire alarm again? Uh, Pearl Mackey. Yes. I mean, me and her are good friends now. But I remember the first time I met her was at the fire alarm. Um, but since then, I mean, Pearl, all the friends from class, very good friends with um, Peter. Not so much, but I mean, the time that I spent with Peter was amazing. He's the nicest, most genuine, humble man you can ever meet. So it was just a great experience. But the fire alarm helps making new friends. Exactly. Luckily, everything happens for a reason, and now I've got plenty of friends because of a fire alarm. Do you have maybe any, any, any other good um, memories from the shooting of class? Um, yeah, it was such a long time ago, but I just remember there were so many moments of just laughter. There was a few in episode six, especially where we're not supposed to laugh is very serious but we couldn't stop laughing and it kind of not ruined it but it happens a lot with actors where they get the giggles and they just can't stop laughing um, so there was a lot of moments like that where the actors just when it's very important not to laugh just can't help but laugh so yeah uh, I just see season one uh, so far that I know that's all they have done yeah. uh, is there maybe a chance for season two what, what is your new information um, the new information is is Unlikely, but it just got premiered in Australia. It's on Netflix now. Um, Big Finish have done audios, so there's a lot of new buzz around it. But who knows? Who knows? I don't want to get anyone's hopes up, but you never know with the universe. But did you think there's maybe any chance because it, 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 it happened before that maybe Netflix take over? And uh, got the whites and produced maybe a season two. We would love that. That was sort of uh, that's our hope. That because you know what I feel like if the show would have come out on Netflix first, it would have done so much better. Um, so hopefully Netflix sees something special, and you never know. Who knows? That would be amazing. Because they have the money. Yeah, that's all you need these days. <laughs> and uh, what, what is your special relationship to Doctor Who? Maybe, maybe have you seen Doctor Who before, before you got the modern class? Yeah, so I mean, being from the UK, it's, it's hard not to know about yeah, Doctor Who. Um, I mean, growing up, that was all that was on TV. It was sort of in everyone's childhood. So I was always very aware of Doctor Who and I didn't know how crazy the fans were. I always knew they were they were very passionate, but they're probably the most passionate fans in the world. Um, so now I'm a huge, huge fan of Doctor Who and just the people, and they're the most amazing people. And conventions like this just really show you how lovely Doctor Who fans are. And you had the great opportunity sitting on the source for a time mm -hmm. for, for, for um, some 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 amount. So did you have maybe got any props out of it, or did you have maybe stolen something from the set? Yeah, um, I've got a few. I've got a da not a big Dalek, but a little small Dalek alarm clock, which I was just saying is the worst idea in the world. <laughs> um, because at five o'clock in the morning it wakes you up screaming exterminate exterminate and it's, it's not a nice way to wake up um, but I got a lot of the costumes the jeans that I'm wearing are actually the jeans that I wore on the show um, so I took a lot of the costume um, yeah I'm actually wearing them right now so, yeah. <laughs> and what is your next project um, I'm working I'm working on a TV series at the moment and a film called Daniel um, but I have a film coming out next month called A Private War, um, which everyone should watch. <laughs> and uh, what is your hope for the future? Um, my hope is just to keep doing stuff like this and just really keep expanding uh, my career um, and just doing amazing stuff like this. I mean, anything that brings me to conventions and uh, just meeting you know, passionate fans is, is what I do my job for. So just to 
keep making an impact on people's life is what I hope to be doing. Thank you so much for having us talking to you. Thank you very much.